Glass Masquerade 2 Illusions by Onyx Loot is the sequel to Glass Masquerade. I haven't played the original game so I can't compare the two, but I'm tempted to give it a try after playing this new one. It's a puzzle game. Think Jigsaw Puzzle, not Logic Puzzles. But it has a stunning and challenging twist. The images you're putting together are stained glass windows, and the pieces are hand sculpted to be beautiful and complex. Because of the nature of the images, you need a careful eye for the shapes of the pieces in order to put them into place. You can't rely on the picture and colors to help you the way you could with a traditional jigsaw. In fact, most of the time I wasn't even sure what the image was going to be until the very end. Actually, sometimes I wasn't quite sure what the images were even after they were completed. They have a creepy, psychedelic beauty that's difficult to parse, but pleasant to look at. Most of the time, I find that jigsaw puzzles get boring fairly quickly, but that doesn't happen with Glass Masquerade. The first eight pieces are easy to place because they have guides to help you get started, although this feature can be disabled if you prefer more of a challenge. But after that, most of these puzzles remain challenging right up until the last few pieces. Part of that is because they're well made, but part of it is also because the size of the pieces can be misleading. The outside border around each piece, and around the placed pieces in the puzzle, isn't counted, so much of the time the pieces looked too large to fit in the spaces. I did find that a little frustrating at times, but it didn't stop me from wanting to play. The only real problem I encountered during the game was a glitch where two unused pieces on the side wind up sitting in the same spot, which isn't supposed to happen. When it does happen, you can only access one of the pieces until it's used, and then you can reach the one underneath. It doesn't happen frequently, but it was a little bit of an annoyance from time to time. I also found it tricky to grab and rotate the circles where the unused pieces were sitting to reach other pieces not currently on the screen. It's a beautiful way to present them, but a little bit clumsy to control. But that's really all the critique I have to offer. The puzzles were interesting, engaging, and challenging. The sound design is lovely. And as for whether I enjoyed it, well, after recording the footage for this video, I went back and completed all the levels on the normal difficulty. I was disappointed that there were none left, although there is a harder difficulty I can go back and beat all the levels on now. And I probably will. But hey, maybe Glass Masquerade 2 Illusions just isn't your kind of game. If so, don't worry. I'll be back soon with another new indie game, and you never know. That one might turn out to be your new favorite game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.